Next is the growth and nutrition. So fungi thrive in the environment that are moist and slightly acidic and can grow with or without light. Most fungi are multicellular organisms and display two distinct morphological stages, the vegetative and the reproductive. So mushroom can grow with or without light because they are not plants. They means that um, they do not need chlorophyll to absorb energy. So they break down nutrients or the organic matter to the plants or leave as parasite on the living um, plants to survive. So multicellular consists of one cell like mushroom and made up of filaments called hyphae. So vegetative consists of the tangles, um, tangle slender thread-like structure called hyphae. And the mass of hyphae is called mycelium and it can grow on the surface in the soil. The decaying matter or the materials or in liquid or even in the living tissue. So it is mentioned that we have two morphological stages, the vegetative and the reproductive. So all the fragmentation, budding and fission is a process of a sexual reproduction um, in a number of fungi. Um, the majority of the rep majority of the fungi reproduce asexually by formation of spores. And that um, um spores are reproduced in a variety of ways. So the first is the Fragmentation. Fragmentation forms from cloning of organisms where organisms splits. So the mycelium of the fungus will break down into smaller pieces and each piece develops into new separate mycelium. So meaning it is breaking down from mother cell to um, daughter cell. And um, this can be seen in molds. When we say the man body, it is um, the process of budding starts with a cell division occurring from the one particular, particular site of the parent fungus and um, it leads to the formation of, the, of an outgrowth at the one particular site of the parent fungus. And when that bud or the outgrowth is uh, matured enough, it will um, detach to the parent and will grow independently. Next is the fission. Fission is happens um, when the parent cell elongated and cleaves itself into two identical daughter cells. The cell division begins with the nucleus of the cell, extended into cytoplasm, and then into the cell membrane, forming two daughter cells that can thrive independently. So reproduction, in both sexual and asexual reproduction, fungi produce spores that disperse from the parent organism by either floating on the wind or hitching on the ride on an animal. So some forms of fungi reproduce asexually and are known as the anamorphs. Those that reproduce sexually are called teleomorphs. And fungi that exhibit both types of reproduction methods are known as holomorphs. So here in the left side, it is the example of the fungi that forms asexually. It is called um, the teriomycytes uh, or also known as molds. These are mostly found in the soil. While in the center, it is the example of the teleomorphs which is called um, the ascomycota that found mostly in lands. And it is also known as the sac fungi because of its sac-like sac -like structure. While in, this, in the right side is the example of the holomorphs, which also known as the basidiomycota or also known as the club fungi because of its club shape. And it is mostly found in the terrestrial and the aquatic environment. So here are the fungi life cycle. So when the mycelium of the fungi undergo a sexual reproduction, meaning that the mycelium is um, undergo mitosis because they are already haploid structures that can reproduce unicellular spores. When the spores is reproduced, it will find a place where it can germinate and um, produce another mycelium. While when the mycelium of the fungi will undergo sexual reproduction, the first stage that it will happen is the plasmogamy. 
But before that, one of the basidious spores find in the place where it can germinate, so it will produce it will um, produce the homocaryotic mycelium. So with one nucleus in the hypal compartment. So um, the haploid cell from the two of this, um, two different mycelia will fuse to form a heterokaryotic um, cell with two or more nuclei, which is called the plasmogamy. So we have two, um, we have one giant cell with two nucleus, or tinatawag natin heterokaryotic stage. So the heterokaryotic cell, um, with one giant cell with two haploid nuclei, it will again fuse to process. Um, it will fuse with a process called karyogamy from haploid to to diploid, which one cell with one cell with one nucleus. Um, that is the two n uh, or mas kilala siya sa tawag na zygote. Though so the zygote will undergo the process of uh, meiosis, which um, which is haploid or the one and spores are formed. So. The process of the formation of the spores is also referred as the sporogenesis. Once the spores uh, will find an environment where it can germinate, it will decide if it um, will undergo sexual reproduction or the asexual or sexual reproduction or the sexual reproduction depending on the temperature of the environment. And the cycles repeat. Do you understand? So very good. That is the very simple um, life cycle of the fungi. So I have here again a, another um, video clip about the life cycle of fungi. So again, why does fungi considered as a garbage decomposer of nature? So Miss Labres, can you please answer my question? So very good. So it is considered as a garbage decomposer of nature because it can dispose to pieces. So another question is that what is the commonly um, reproduction of fungi? So Miss Tagi. Okay, the vegetative reproduction. So thank you so much for your listening and so that ends our discussion. I hope everyone learned something new about the microorganism fungi. So for the remaining time, um, we have um, 30 minutes left. I will send you the Google link and please answer um, that for, and that will serve as your evaluation for today. So after 30 minutes, I will close the link. So any questions? So. So, I will end this meeting in 3, 2, 1. Goodbye, class. Goodbye.